Hi everyone. Today we will see a quick demo of Kara, the new AI agent that we have created, which connects to all your most common core systems like ServiceNow, Jira, Confluence, SharePoint, and any other files that you might have within your organization. So here I have a uh, intranet portal the agent is deployed on the portal. So I can click here on the agent to launch the uh, bot. Once I have this, I can start by selecting one of these options or quick prompts. Uh, the advantage of doing this is when user selects any of these pre-configured prompts, it grounds the knowledge uh, to a specific uh, data source. So in this case, I'll start by selecting HR policy and then I can ask question like, uh, who do I talk to about relocation benefits? So in this case, since we have, um, or since the user has selected HR policies, it knows to find that information within SharePoint site. So here you can see it's able to return this information. It's also providing a citation. So if I click here, it takes me directly to the benefits page. And this is where the information is documented. Now, coming back, you can also see I have um, a quick action bar here. So in this case, if I want to send this email to one of my um, teammates or my customer, I can simply click on this and then provide my uh, email. So let me just connect to my mailbox. And I'll just use my the shared mailbox to send an email. So in this case, I'll copy the email address and I'll provide it to the bot. And in few seconds, I should receive an email with the same information that it was shared here. Um, again, I have this email here, you can see, um, and uh, I have not formatted this email, but you have option to create um, any formatting that you might need uh, for any outgoing emails. Uh, next, what I will do is I'll ask this agent to show me, uh, show me, show tasks uh, assigned to me. So in this case, I'm not grounding it. So based on what I'm asking, it knows that the task information is uh, coming from Jira. So it will uh, understand the intent and then get a list of all the tasks that are assigned to me from Jira. So here you can see I have, uh, looks like four tasks uh, in Jira. And if I click on this, it can directly take me to that specific um, task in Jira. Uh, I can do the same thing for, um, Service now tickets. So in this case, I'll say show tickets opened by me. And since the incident or ticket information is in service now, um, I can it knows to connect to service now to get this information for me. So in few seconds, it should give me a um, list of all the tickets that are us created by me in service now. So here it looks like I have about five service now tickets, and I can get all the information that I need. I can even configure what information needs to show here. And then if I want to just launch a specific incident, I can click on the link. It takes me straight to that incident in ServiceNow. Um, I can also ask uh, things like how to open a new savings account. And this information is in Confluence. So I have my Confluence that holds all the policy and procedure uh, data related to my product. So in this case, when I'm asking a question like this, uh, it's able to understand that it's a policy related question and it will get that information from Confluence. Uh, the key thing to note here is um, I'm not telling the agent to uh, search against any specific source. I'm simply providing a prompt and it's able to get the information from the right source. Uh, so here you can see it's able to get this from Confluence and I can validate that by clicking on this link and it's taking me to Confluence.
the same logic applies to IT related questions. So you can see here, this question is related to um, software. Um, so in that case, it knows that for IT related question, it needs to get that information from ServiceNow. So here I have a ServiceNow uh, knowledge base that has all the IT related um, questions or frequently asked questions. And it's using that uh, for uh, providing me this information. So if I click, it takes me straight to that incident. Um, it's also able to get me um, status for a specific incident um, if I have the incident ID. So I can say something like, what is the status for incident ID uh, 10027? And it's going to go to service now and show me uh, all the information that I need for this specific uh, incident. At the same time, I can uh, use any of these quick actions to perform different actions. So if I click on this, it's giving me um, new suggestions. So in this case, let's say I want to create a new task for my team. So I can click on that. And here you can see it's now creating a JIRA task. So in this case, I can say uh, plan for Xmas party. Um, and then I can click here. I'll select the priority as low and I'll click on create task. And this should create a new task in JIRA. And I can validate that by Clicking here, um, you can see it's opening the new task that it's created um, in Jira. The other key thing to note is um, I can also create tickets uh, or incidents in ServiceNow. So if I say um, create, um, create a new incident with low priority, so in this case, I'm just typing all this up, I'm not providing any instructions and you can see it's able to understand all the details it needs and it's created this incident for me in ServiceNow. So if I go back, you can see it's able to provide the uh, title or short description. It has uh, created a description and also set the priority to low uh, based on uh, the instructions that I had provided. Um, and then lastly, I want to also show how it can use generative orchestration where uh, based on what user is asking, it can connect to different systems within your organization and show it as a single response. So in this example, I'll say um, show task assigned to me and also tell me how do I quit an application that isn't responding. So in this case, you can see there are two questions in a single um, prompt and the first info, uh, first question for the first question it needs to get information from Jira and then for the second part it needs to get information from ServiceNow. So what it's doing now is it's going through all the knowledge sources that we have um, configured for this agent and you can see it will combine all that information and provide a single response. So here it says task assigned to you four tasks. So this is coming from Jira. And then at the bottom, it also tells me how I can um, quit an application that isn't responding. And this is coming from ServiceNow. So you can see this is the um, power of using generative orchestration where it can build this flow dynamically um, uh, based on the questions user is asking. Uh, so this was a short demo and uh, this is built using Copilot Studio. So if you come back, I'll quickly show what I'm doing here. So this is the uh, bot I have created. You can see I have enabled the generative orchestration. And for the knowledge, I only have uh, the SharePoint site and some HR related policies here. Uh, you could also use um, other knowledge sources if you would like to just configure it um, directly from uh, here. So in this case, I could use ServiceNow connectors and sales, Salesforce connectors straight from here, and it's able to use that uh, information from those system uh, and reason over it. Uh, but because I wanted to have more granular control, what I've done is I've created different topics. So for example, you can see there's a topic for checking the incident, there's topic for creating the um, uh, new incident. 
So this allows me to have more granular control. And within the uh, topic, I have uh, this flow where I'm use, calling different pre uh, pre-configured connectors or connectors within, within Power Platform that are available to perform different actions. So this is a simple um, agent that you can create in Copilot Studio fairly quickly to connect to different systems within your uh, organization so that you have a, have a centralized knowledge uh, part. Uh, thanks for watching and do let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again.